Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Focus Friday Additive Tips. This week, I want to continue from last week's cutting mesh files, where last week we talked about simple straight line cuts on this particular plane model, utilizing the clip planes tool, putting um, a straight line on X, Y, or Z axis. And also, we did a uh, holes and uh, pins type cut advanced cutting but this week i want to talk about free cuts on the free cuts we're going to make some cuts on this part but on the edge of one of the uh, lines of this stencil that i'm going to create we're going to create a uh, dovetail or a jagged or puzzle shaped cut i'm going to get rid of this uh, platform that we have here so it's easier to visualize the cut on the cut here we want to go to our modify ribbon free cut and what we're doing is we're creating a stencil here. And there's different ways on this dialog here on the right. You can easily create, for example, a hole in a part. Um, it's going to create this hole where you click on the plane here and you can use the outside line to uh, change the radius uh, size of this uh, cut. So if I wanted to quickly cut a hole here, that's easy to do. Just to show you that option there. And that cuts right through both parts of the, of the plane here. Let's do an undo. Just wanted to show uh, that cut there under free cut. You can also make a um, rectangle. Uh, the first one's free cut. And we're going to be showing where you can edit the edge to make those dovetail and puzzle and jagged edge cut. And going across here left to right, just showing you, you can select the position of the dovetail and move the puzzle pieces, which we'll be going through. Uh, you can slip the direction of the cut and also reset your cut. But getting back to our free cut, what you're doing is you're going to select uh, points that you're going to create. And when you click the third time, it's going to create the stencil um, that you see here. But what we want to do is go outside of the edge because what I want to do is just create a cut along this red line. And if you hoover your mouse uh, arrow over there, you can then right click and hit edit edge and give you the access to these different um, cuts that we're going to do here today. Dovetailed, jagged, and puzzle. Let's start with the dovetailed. And you can put a distance, how far they're apart. You can put a count on there. I'll show you in our next cut. You can, you know, how many uh, puzzle pieces are you going to get on the cut. You can put that number in there. But uh, going back to the dovetailed here, let's just hit apply. And you see here, we'll hit OK. It creates these dovetail cuts that you can adjust. You have these base points here, for example. You can use your left mouse button and slide them around. You can select that and remove pin. You don't get to delete that out. So let's just move these two dovetails, for example, like that. And on the um, outline of edge here, you can create a different size of the dovetail by just moving your mouse button and holding down the left mouse button. So if that's what I want to create, I'm just going to go here, right side, and hit cut. And it's going to create that uh, dovetail cut that we can show here. Quick, easy way to make an advanced type cut. Let's show the other different cuts on a free cut. Going back to our modify ribbon, free cut. And we'll go and select that line again. I'll show you the, the jagged cut actually created a extra uh, little uh, base point here. You can just say remove point. Right click on that line, hit edit edge. And we can go jagged edge, for example. Instead of uh, triangles all the way through the part at a distance, just, just put a count. Let's put four on there, hit apply. Okay, it just creates uh, the amount of pins that you designated. I put four. And we can move these again, like last time, using the base point to just move the triangle here. Maybe I just want two on there. We can just do that. And that's why we go outside when we create the stencil. So I'm just cutting on the edge that I want for the free cuts. And we've created that cut. And going back and showing the last cut here. Another thing I wanted to show is if you make a line that's not straight, you can use, uh, you can select that uh, close to one of the pins and hit Alt left mouse button and it snaps at 90 degrees to make it a, a straighter line here for our rectangle, for example. 
that was ALT in your left mouse button. All right, and do our last um, puzzle cut here. And remember, you can move these base points to adjust as needed. Even the size on the bottom here, you can drag and make these smaller, make them bigger. We'll hit cut on that and see what we created here. And moving this part away, we got real creative here. Too thin, I'd probably make it a little thicker, but just showing you how we can go about creating a cut on an edge, edge line of a stencil cut. And this week it was just about three cuts and creating a dovetail, a jagged uh, cut, and a puzzle shaped cut. So again, thanks for uh, joining this week's Additive Tips. Thank you.